Harper, and I know a lot of the girls here, a lot of these are my students, and I know some of Christy's students, they've been uh, willing to do fun things. And what I did was I got, you can use this as a catalyst tool, which is really, really handy. But the thing that's nice about this is you don't have to worry about, if you use a brush, you have to rinse it out immediately, because it's a glue, it's a, it's a polymer thing. So you can get this. And the most important thing, remember, is to cover all the area and then lay your little ticket down or map and then put back over it, okay? Lay it down, put back over it. So lay it down, put back over it. And you can go down like this, just step by step. Okay, now I try, when I'm doing something like this, I have this Hogan curve here, but I also try, just like I was trying to get you guys to do with the celery, is this is going this way, this is going that way. This, do you see? There's, there's all different directions. This is going that way. Don't, don't get trapped into going, everything has to be read exactly perfectly. You can do this whole background in this. I, I have a tendency to think less is more, so I wanted to have this, and I'm gonna use a fire gold leafing down each side of this. Windsor Newton or Daniel Smith. And uh, now see, I'm going to put some of the, this over, over this. I don't want this to be white, but I want it to be readable. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. the red first to get to get that loosey goosey feel around it. Now see how that's taken that differently? Do you see? And you didn't seal the top of the pictures with anything. Yes I did. Okay. Gel. Yeah. yeah. Oh gel. Oh, okay. Yeah. On top and bottom. Okay. Yeah, top and bottom. Soft gel. Mm-hmm. Soft gel. Just makes it a little easier. Okay, so now I'm going to even add a little alizarin crimson in there. Would you repeat the surface, Jean? I don't think the video. Aqua, aqua board. Have some uh, activity in there, y'all. It has to have dimension or direction or something going on if you want that. I can do um, acrylic, but acrylic will never give you this commingling that this will for right now. And then when there's area that's a different color, you want commingle, just, just add a little more water. I'm liking that black and red together. And that's, yeah, I think I'm gonna stop. Okay, if you saw me drying it with a hair dryer, the trick about anything to do with mixed media, watercolor or acrylic, is you must let it dry. You can paint it when it's wet and you can paint it when it's dry, but you don't wanna paint in the danger zone. What happens when it looks dry but it is not, is it'll bleed, it'll do stuff that you don't want it to do, okay? So you know what'll happen when it's wet, it'll be soft and runny and all that. You know what'll happen when it's dry, it'll be sharp and edges and all that. 
The danger zone is when you think one thing and you get another. Okay? Now, when I'm looking at this one, uh, I had to dry it because I'm going to do, do another coat on it. Um, I, I'm, liking, I'm liking this, and I'm liking that, but this needs to be a little bit darker than this. Let me take a picture of this real quick, and then, and then we're going to do it again. And, I, and, and it's important that you see that because so many times people think, oh, she just did that. Well, I might have done that sucker six times. Yeah. So, <laughs> I didn't know, so, you see she's got a little black here, but she doesn't carry, it doesn't carry all the way down. So that's kind of cool. I, I could probably do that. Have you seen it? Yeah. But she's got to she be standing on something. Um, I can work a little, wet a little area. probably, you know, won't show as bad. So, we're going to have to dry this again because you can paint wet or you can paint dry. But you can't paint in the danger zone. No top gun. No top gun. <laughs> <laughs> got to like what you've got here. Are you still on underwear? Yes, I'm still on underwear. You've got to like your underwear. You have to like your underwear. <laughs> and I don't, I never could afford Victoria's Secret, so I have to. <laughs> I have to really work at it. <laughs> but I like so far where I'm going with it, but what's bothering me is the scratchiness. I don't like that scratchiness. You see, I'm trying to hit these uh, corners or um, areas that might have, you know, I might not like that right there, so I put a little bit there. I like that better. Y'all like that better? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I splatter, I usually splatter three colors. <laughs> so I'm gonna get try to get some alizarin crimson up here. I'm trying to cover up the bad spots. That is actually a class that the girls take in school over here. In our oh, boys school. They start the Jan, you're finding ways to incorporate abstract art into portraiture. <laughs> But you know what? When you have a funky background and you have a, you, you do have to be careful. You don't want to put a realistic face on a funky background because it looks stickered on. But if you've got a little bit of uh, realism and then you've got funky background and then you just do three little swishes of color like a Harley Brown. But look at the cathedral series. Isn't that beautiful? Now, 
the neat thing about these, what the way they do stencils now is they'll lay them down there and they'll just do a little dab of interest, you know, not a whole lot. Um, so you take your your paint. This is acrylic, cheap acrylic, and you dab off. You don't want to have a big blob on this. Okay, so I'm thinking. Now, when you do a stencil, you have to do it on the edge, or there's no stencil. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm talking about? There's no. Put, you can put this one, because you got to do it three places. You know that. <laughs> But you don't do the whole thing. You just do, but, but, but if you're doing it, you've got to cover all the sides or there's no stencil. I think you may have started a new obsession. Oh, there's stencils. Well, and there's five million stencils oh, out yeah. there. Oh yeah, oh, wow. there's tons of them. And then you can come in here and, and soften. soften some of that. Connect it, see, with the sea sponge. And that just softens it a little bit. And I don't want to lose the poppies. But I don't want to make them too exact. So, but I messed up. I hit it with the iron down there. So, I think what I'll do is I'll keep the churches in here. Okay, so now all my churches are, are pretty in there. Okay. All right. And usually I just, I have one, you know those, um, I think they're called irises cases, you know, that scrapbookers yes. use? 12 by 12. Yeah, right. I have a cleaning station, and I fill it with about a quarter or a half inch of water, and I drop that in there. So, you know what you do. And at home, what I do is I lay, I, I lay them in there immediately, so that stuff soaks on there, and then I rinse through them. Don't rub your stencils like this, pack them. Yeah, you, you really can ruin stencils by doing that. Okay, I hit it with the ironing, the, the iron right there. So, uh, the hair dryer. So now that's done. Like, yeah, I'm fixing areas. So, now that's done. Now she's standing on top. And then now I can soften this with this and tie it into there. <laughs> See? Is that like shelf liner? Is that what yeah. yeah. Okay. And what we what we usually do is when we're doing colored pencils, we lay the pencils there so they roll off. But I grabbed it because it works oh, great. You want, how many of y'all know about um, gold leaf tape or not? No. Just this is metal leaf, uh, which is harder to work with. But if you wanted to use this, you can take piece of wax paper, rub it on your hair, and put it on here and it will stick by static clean. And then you can cut it. Like oh, gonna do this. Oh, that's good. oh yeah. I mean it does all kinds of things. And you can paint on top of it. But it's just such a beautiful design. This is called fire or something. Red leaf fire. There's another one that they use that is I got a turquoise in it. That is beautiful. <coughs> I'm gonna work on a King Tut. I got some papyrus paper. So I'm gonna use that on a King Tut. Okay, this is simple leaf. This is a little more expensive, but it's so much easier to work with. Because every sheet of gold leaf is on a piece of paper. Okay. Love on top. Alright, so you have red line tape. Red line tape. It's very You can get it at Hobby Lobby. And you cut pieces of the gold wider than the tape. Don't be stingy because it's much easier. You don't want to, there are times to be stingy and there are times to not be. When being stingy causes you five times more work to fix it, don't be stingy. There it is. Okay, then you can take, because, oh, I hope this was not wet. Okay, it wasn't wet enough. Okay, this right here, then this brush just clears off whatever isn't on that um, tape. Cool. Yes. So, you're going to make people think I say everything. 
You do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want to do it. All I had to do was remember. She did it. And it was beautiful. There it is. Use it. Oh yeah, absolutely. You use it. You can use it till it's nothing. These little crumbs I put in another bag and can use those too. Completely done. Okay, so this is a background that I can now work on. Okay. Alright. After you varnish it, and would you use acrylic varnish? No, 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 no. You, uh, I can work on this now. I can either use, um, I'm probably going to use some paint, some gesso, and some pastels. And at the end, I varnish it. If I were going to do something uh, different, I could use, um, I could spray it with 1311, but it will dull the gold. So I don't want to do that unless I, unless I, unless I have to. This probably has enough tooth. Okay. If, if I need to, I can apply clear gesso. Liquitex makes a great clear gesso that, that you supply with that. So, if I need to. Okay. 